These are pretty addicting. I have to say I really enjoy drinking this. It's called Snake Bite. It's a lager and apple cider shandy. It's amazing. Welcome back to my channel. This is Makeup with Miss Jo. And if it's your first time here, I'm Heather. Thank you for stopping by to check out my video. And if you're a regular subscriber, hey. So, as you can see, I got some ColourPop goodies. It was their third birthday. So, of course, like everybody else, I had to take advantage of their limited edition third birthday items. Came in a super cute bag, and it just has like a Ziploc closure. And it came with some awesome stickers. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. Really like those, haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them, but I was thinking I might decorate one of the ColourPop palettes with it, so we shall see. All right, so the things that came in here are, you've got four pressed shadows. There are three lips. You have a super shock cheek. And then I had the birthday one. And I'm gonna go find that. It's been located. It's a super shock and birthday cake. So I figured that we'll start with the pressed shadows first. And the first one up is going to be Rager. I love the names that they come up with. So it's kind of a really pretty like iridescent yellowy, but kind of has like a green kind of undertone. And so that is Rager. Super pretty. The next one up is gonna be Party Favors. This one is kind of like an orangey, but has like orange, red, yellowish undertones. And it's going to be this shade right there. Hi, hello, not coordinated. The next one up is gonna be the big three. And just rip that off paper. And this one is pretty white. So my assumption is it's probably iridescent. It has a blue kind of, blue purplish undertone to it. And these are all super soft. Just gonna put a little bit more. And it's gonna be this third shade here. I think we go through this all the time because I'm so white that it's like hard to pick up. I can't. Am I not tan? All right, and last one up is going to be Cakewalk. And this one is a super pretty purple. I feel like you can't see it because the light is so bright, but kind of like right there you can. All right, and it'll be this bottom one right here where you can barely see how it's kind of hitting a little bit purple. I mean, like, it's super faint on my skin, but it's a really pretty purple. And the Super Shock in Birthday Cake is like a really pretty kind of like darker. That shit just fell out the pot on to my laptop. Oh my God. Uh, all right. So apparently you can pick it up in one piece also. Uh, looks like that. And it'll be this super dark swatch right there. So those are all of the pressed shadows and then the super shock shadow. 
Wow, I can't even believe that just happened. All right then. And we will go to the cheek next. And the cheek is in the shade Blow Me Out. because now I'm paranoid, it's in this kind of like tannish color. Same like soft feeling. And it's this really pretty like gold right there. So now we are moving on to the lips and they're all gonna be ultra glossy. The first one up is gonna be Bash. And again, super sparkly, like so pretty pink color. I love the stars that they detailed on here. So cute. Try this on. This is the first time I've ever opened it. And first I will swatch it for you. And then we'll go ahead and try it on. I like that. It's not a sticky gloss. It's a gloss, but my lips aren't like stuck together. I hate that like sticky feeling. And it's almost like when you talk, you have like strings of like gloss all on your mouth and you don't even know it. Not happening with this. Love it, love the color. I feel like this is more subtle Hi. than the other ones I chose before. Hi. Is there any circle things? No. The next one up is Wishes. And this is a super pretty like iridescent purple. All right, so we are going to put on, we just did Bash and Wishes. So this is Wishes right here, which is a really pretty like iridescent purple. And let's see. Like, I don't know if you can see in the light. It just has like this really pretty like iridescent like gloss, glow, sheen. Again, feels amazing. Not sticky at all. And last but not least, it is going to be RSVP. And this one, God, I can't decide. I feel like the last ones from my Sonia Esmond collection I fell in love with. These, I love too. I mean, I don't, I don't think it gets better than this. This one is definitely like the most sheer of the three where you, you're not really even seeing a color per se, but it's just this really light, pink and I think it would just add like the tiniest shimmer like to your lips that would be so so pretty like, maybe if the sun hit it a certain way or in the light so these were the three from the birthday collection and just as a comparison if you're feeling like I got the Sonia Esmond collection and they seem similar these are the three from Sonia Esmond, and these are the three from the birthday collection. Where the two shades on the end appear most similar, and I'll swatch them side by side for you. In case you're like, mm, I'm not really into that, but I kind of like it. All right, so I'm gonna try and do this left-handed. We'll see how good this goes. Okay, 
So here we have, this is Wishes, and then this other one is the Sonia Esmond. And you can see that while yes, they have similar tones, they are very, very different. I almost feel like you can put this one on your lips and then top it with that one, which is Wishes, and that would look pretty legit. Um, but they do, I mean, obviously, they're similar in tone. They're both kind of a purple, like iridescent feel, um, but they aren't the same. It just kind of depends on what look you're looking for. If you're wanting just a gloss with kind of a sheer iridescent glow, then I say Wishes is the one you should choose. But if you're looking for something that's gonna put down a little bit more color, Sonia Esmond. And the other one I will compare for you is these two. So we're gonna do Bash. All three of those are somewhat the same. I'll just do all three, that way you can get a good idea of the pink ones. If you're like, well, I only wanna buy one what one should I buy, or I only want to buy two. What two should I buy? So there you have the last three. You can definitely see that the Sonia Esmond one, that's gonna be the one that has the most color. The other two are just simply sheer. They're all similar in tone because they're all kind of pink toned. Um, again, it just depends on the look that you're wanting. If you're wanting just a gloss look, then I say go for the birthday. But if you want something that has a little bit more color to it, um, Sonia Esmond is the way to go. I'm not sure if you can still get the birthday lippies. Um, that may have been just like a couple day thing. So if those are the ones you want, hopefully you can. If you can't, then I guess the next best thing is the Sonia Esmond collection as far as, or as long as you can get that too. So that completes the ColourPop birthday haul. And I do plan on doing a tutorial using all of what I hauled. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you've gotten the birthday collection and you've done a look with it, um, tag me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Makeup with Miss Joe, and there's no periods or anything, just all one word. Um, yeah. Or leave a comment down below. Tell me your suggestions for a tutorial. What colors you're most interested in, or what colors you think might work well together. And thank you again for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, my goal is to get at least to 200 subscribers. As soon as we hit that mark, I do want to do a giveaway. I already have some things that I've been kind of setting aside to do a giveaway. So hopefully we can get there. So tell your friends, have your friends, tell your friends. Um, also hit the bell to get notifications when I post a video. Chris, On that note, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.